Hello, dear ones. My name is Quillet. I'm a gospel minister. Thank you so much, and God bless you. We are here to save thousands of people, millions of people, out of abusive marriage. And through Christ, who strengthens us, we will achieve that. People have sent me messages. They want to know the outcome of the police case concerning Mr. Peter Wanchuku, uh, the husband of the late minister, Osinachi. Yeah. And I have an update for you. Before I give you the update, please listen to this scripture. I love this scripture so much. And it will order your step. It will help you. Please listen to the scripture. In Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12, the Bible says there is a way that seems right to a man. Hey, but its end is the way of death. So right now, even as I'm talking, if you are there aspiring to abuse your wife, abuse your husband, be prepared to learn yourself where you don't want to be. Anywhere you want to be, okay? When you get old, even as you are young now, at the middle of your age, it depends on you. If you want to be an old woman, uh, an old man who will sit down for children to come and listen to wisdom from you, it depends on you. That is why you need to fear God so that he will order your steps. Listen to the update. Now, the federal government has entered a 23 count charge against Mr. Peter Wanchuku. 23 count charge. The charge was filed by the Office of the Attorney General of the Federal and Minister of Justice. 23. And I would like to read something to you so that you listen to it because I don't want to say it. I just want you to listen to that. Now, he was said to have threatened the kids and prevented them from reporting the act of domestic violence against their mother to the head pastor of their church, Dr. Paul Inenchi, or any other person. So, specifically, Specifically, listen, some of the accounts in the charge read that you, Peter Wanchuku, 56 mil, that is his age, on the 8th of April 2022 at Ako Estates, I hope I'm mentioning the, the name well, ACO Estates, opposite police station, Lugbe Abuja FCT, within the jurisdiction of the Honorable Court, did commit an offense to with culpable, listen, Culpable homicide, homicide, punishable with death, in that you caused the death of uh, Mrs. Osinachi Wanchuku by your various acts of violence, aggravated assault with the knowledge that her death will be the probable consequence of your act. So that is the chart. And then listen to this one too. Peter Wanchuku mail sometime between 14th November 2009 and April 2022 at Ako Estate, ACO Estate, opposite police station Lugwe Abuja FCT, within the jurisdiction of this honorable court, did commit an offense to wit emotional, verbal, and psychological abuse on Mrs. Osinachi Wanchuku. Okay? This is by humiliating her and making utterances like you are smelling, you are mad to her in the presence of her music crew members. So if you are here, you have been insulting your wife, insulting your husband, saying all kinds of filthy things to them. This is an abuse. The day the law will catch you, you will have yourself to be blamed. Even as you are saying these things, you need to be stopping or repent before it gets too late. Because this reminds me of the same issue in the U.S. Where this man shot his wife, his own wife, seven times. Seven times. The lady was just 27. And the man was 35 years. He is now in prison. He is now in prison. He may face a death penalty. I don't know, as at now. He may face... Okay, so in the case of Mr. Peter Wanchuku, it could be the same thing. And this is why I said right now from the beginning that wherever you want to be, it depends on you. Wherever you want to find yourself, it depends on you. If you want to affect your generation, it depends on you. Be extra careful, be very careful. Please, anybody around, all those people listening to me, if you see someone 
maltreating the wife, maltreating the husband. Please, let the police know about it. Report the issue. That's like people are saying, mind your business. We can't mind our business. This domestic violence is our business. It is my business. It is your business. Listen, we are in a generation where a lot of people are so much selfish. They don't care about other people and they don't care about whatever is happening. And if you try to care, they will come and tell you, you should mind your business. No! We will be our brother's keeper. We will make sure we stop this abusive uh, marriage thing. Women and men will not die in abusive marriage. To affect children. Because children in abusive homes, they suffer. If this goes, uh, 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 if this goes on and on and on and on, which children are we going to produce? If you if you want to challenge something, just go to WHO. Go to their page. Check the statistic of abusive uh, women and men in Nigeria. Check it in Ghana. Check it in all the African countries. And you will see how, especially women, have been abused in marriage. The percentage of women is higher than men. But everybody is facing abusive uh, in their marriages. Both women and men. And this is the reason for which we need to uproot it. By things like Queen Lit standing here and talking about it. You being there and sharing. Okay? Share to so many places. In, uh, uh, to WhatsApp, in groups, everywhere. So that it will go to the whole world. We need to stop this. Check it. Check the records. Yearly. How many women die out of abusive marriage? How many men die out of abusive marriage. People are writing so many things into my inbox. Okay? Most of them are in abusive marriages. A lot of them need help. And we are we are trying to behind your house who you hear uh, whom you hear insulting the wife the husband beating here and there please don't don't be quiet do something about it let them tell you you are inquisitive let them tell you you are talkative let them tell you you are gossip forget about it and do the needful it will help somebody it will save somebody's life it is not good for children to grow up without mothers without fathers I am telling you, for you to take care of your child, it is different when somebody is taking care of your child. It takes only people who fear God to have this heart. So don't sit there and die and leave your children behind. Don't sit there and die and leave your wife, leave your husband, leave your children. Be very careful and be extra careful. If something is disturbing you, if you feel like insulting your wife every time you see your wife, if you feel like Beating your husband every time you see him, you he, he's not attracted to you or whatever. You need counseling. Look for people who can pray with you. Sometimes this, these things are not ordinary. Sometimes it comes from the family. Okay? Powers and demons in family who influence such things. I'm a spiritual person, so I know what I'm talking about. And don't take it for granted. Please, don't take this for granted. So this is the update. Mr. Peter Wanchuku uh, has 23 charges on his head. Those who are shouting, we need, uh, we need justice, we need justice. This is the news. It is alleged that the defendant Wanchuku had a time forcefully push his, uh, his late wife out of moving, uh, moving vehicle. The defendant was specifically charged for alleged committing a uh, culpable homicide, homicide under the sessions. 104 and 379 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015, an offense contrary to Section 221 of the Penal Code and punishable, punishable, sorry, punishable with death. So this information, you go to africanchurches.com, that is where I got my information and it is authentic. It is true. This homicide is punishable by death. So people are shouting, we need justice, we need justice. This is the update. If you want to sit down, affect your generation, I've said already, if you want to sit down, to, to, to be a man of wisdom, woman of wisdom, okay? Don't just die. Don't just waste your life. Do something profitable.
Bible for people because God created you for a purpose. Don't die in prison because of abuse. Okay, because of because of um, domestic violence. And don't sit down for somebody to kill you. All your dreams will be shattered. Shout, make noise, talk to people. Come out. God bless you so much. Please share this video and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Queen Lit Music. Like the page on Facebook and follow the page on Facebook, Queen Lit Music. And follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. God bless you so much for watching. Thank you.